On the morning of May 30th, 2024, Curiosity was carrying out an ordinary exploration mission across the red dust of Mars. Routine analyses, repeated soil scans, and a cautious route over rocky terrain, nothing out of the ordinary. But sometimes, the greatest discoveries come not from plans, but from quiet accidents. This time was one of those moments. The rover's front will struck one of the rocks on the surface, not a violent impact, but just strong enough to split the rock cleanly in half. As the onboard cameras continued recording, the interior of the broken rock was exposed. Its outer surface was dull and dark, unremarkable. But inside, it reflected light with an unexpected brilliance, a sharp, golden-yellow gleam. The structure resembled a crystal, shimmering vividly under the weak Martian sunlight. When the images reached Earth, the first reaction was silence. The crystals were not only unusually well-ordered, but also completely unexpected on Mars. Emerging from a layer of ancient dust, these golden formations were so symmetrical and pure that for a while, scientists even debated whether the phenomenon was an optical illusion. Yet, as the high-resolution images came through, all doubt vanished. Just beneath the surface lay a loose layer of soil, but along the fractured face of the rock, a distinct mineral pattern was revealed. Sharp-edged, highly reflective, as if it had been sealed away from the harsh surface for millennia. NASA's official statement compared it to this. It's like walking through a desert and suddenly finding a crystal clear lake. On a planet as dry, wind-sculpted, and elementally limited as Mars, such a pure structure appearing by chance is extraordinarily difficult to explain. Even more intriguingly, the crystals weren't confined to the surface. The deeper the fracture went, the more similar formations appeared, suggesting that this was not a surface deposit, but something that had grown within the rock over time. So the obvious question arose, what exactly were these yellow crystals? Laboratory analysis revealed that the substance Curiosity had imaged was pure, crystallized elemental sulfur. Not a compound, not bound to any other element, but sulfur in its rare, isolated atomic form. This kind of material is extremely rare on Earth, found only under very specific conditions, typically around volcanic regions, hot springs, or areas with direct hydrothermal activity. For pure sulfur to form, three things are required, high temperatures, dense sulfur gases, and an oxygen-poor environment. But Mars meets none of those conditions. The planet has no known active volcanoes, only traces of ancient hydrothermal systems, and an atmosphere made almost entirely of carbon dioxide. Its oxygen levels are incredibly low. Normally, on Mars, sulfur bonds with oxygen and water to create more stable compounds such as sulfates. Yet the crystals Curiosity discovered were elemental sulfur, unstable, highly reactive, and rarely found unbound for long periods. What made this even more unusual was their structure, remarkably pure, uniform, and perfectly crystalline. So where did this impossible material come from? Curiosity made this discovery in a region at the northwestern base of Mount Sharp, known as the Gedi's Ballast Channel, a narrow system of ridges and gullies. From orbit, it appears unremarkable, but closer examination reveals a complex geological history. The area likely formed through ancient liquid flow, perhaps a remnant of once wetter times on Mars. But this finding might not be purely geological. Elemental sulfur can also be linked to biological processes. On Earth, sulfur isn't only found near volcanoes or geothermal vents. It also appears in environments inhabited by specific microorganisms. In oxygen-free habitats, certain bacteria, known as sulfur bacteria, generate energy by metabolizing sulfates, leaving behind elemental sulfur as a byproduct. That's why the discovery of pure sulfur crystals on Mars hints not just at geochemical, but potentially biochemical history as well. The Gedi's Valley region strengthens this idea. It holds evidence of ancient liquid water flows, suggesting that in the distant past, conditions there may have been suitable for life, or at least for the chemistry that supports it. At this point, the story returns to curiosity itself, 
the rover that made this discovery purely by chance. This remarkable machine has redefined our understanding of Mars, pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible in extraterrestrial exploration. When Curiosity landed on Mars in 2012, its mission was only meant to last two years. This initial time frame was based on engineering estimates and scientific objectives, but the rover's resilience far exceeded all expectations. Yet more than 12 years later, it's still operational, still traveling across the Martian landscape, still analyzing geological formations, and still sending back invaluable data from another world. Its extended mission has provided a continuous stream of insights into Mars's past and present. And Curiosity's find isn't the only anomaly. Over the years, several other Martian discoveries have defied easy explanation, hinting at a more complex and dynamic history for the Red Planet than previously imagined. In 2014, Curiosity detected an unusually pure form of tritomite, a silicate mineral rarely found in such concentrations. This discovery was particularly puzzling because tritomite typically forms under high temperature, volcanic conditions, raising questions about Mars's geological processes. In another case, it spotted traces of manganese oxide within a rock known as Highfield. The presence of manganese oxide is significant as it often requires oxidizing conditions and the presence of water to form, suggesting a more aqueous past for Mars. Other missions have made similar discoveries. Spirit found nearly pure silica in an apparently ordinary outcrop. This finding suggested the possibility of hydrothermal activity, where hot water circulated through rocks, altering their composition. Opportunity encountered hematite spheres resembling those formed in watery environments on Earth. These Martian blueberries provided compelling evidence of past liquid water on the planet's surface, a crucial element for life as we know it. And Perseverance, in 2021, detected organic molecules believed to be the precursors to life itself. This groundbreaking discovery further fuels the hope of finding evidence of past or even present life on Mars, making the search for biosignatures a primary focus. How these enigmatic materials formed remains a profound mystery, challenging our current models of Martian geology and chemistry. But the answers may not be far off, as new missions are designed to bring these secrets closer to home. The upcoming Mars Sample Return Mission, planned to bring physical Martian samples back to Earth in the early 2030s, may finally provide definitive evidence. This ambitious endeavor aims to collect and transport precious Martian rocks and soil for in-depth analysis in terrestrial laboratories. Once Curiosity's 2024 sulfur crystals and other unexplained materials can be examined in detail under laboratory conditions, we may uncover the truth. Scientists will use advanced instruments to analyze their composition, structure, and isotopic signatures, potentially revealing their origins. Perhaps within those golden crystals lies the imprint of an ancient chemical cycle, or even traces of a long-lost environmental shift. These microscopic clues could unlock a much larger narrative about Mars's evolution and its potential to harbor life. A whisper of a much greater story, still waiting beneath Mars's silent red dust. The anticipation of these discoveries fills us with wonder, as we stand on the cusp of unraveling the deepest secrets of our planetary neighbor. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. We will explore the world together. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss my new videos. See you in the next video.